I'm Karen with Informatica, and today I wanted to talk to you about Informatica Cloud Data Masking. You can see here, we're logging in to the cloud environment. And if you get in, you'll see the application look just as for your other applications. The difference is now there is an additional data masking application. And when you click on this link, it'll bring you to a place where you can create data masking projects that is similar to how you create other cloud integration projects. You go through these steps, you'll see the look and feel is the same. Um, the steps are the same. And as we create a new project, you can do a data source, um, data source that you have access today through OD, your ODBC connection. So as we create the connection, you'll see that access to a number of objects. Choosing we can look at the contents of that object and the types of fields that we'll be masking. Car ID, first name, city, and state. Now we go through show we could, um, and create these different rules. I want to point out a few things. First of all, you can see the masking rules here are specific to the fields. So, for example, you have a different set of masking rules you can choose from, uh, from the email or phone number. And that's because we customize the masking techniques based on the types of fields themselves. So for custody, you can see that we have available key numeric, um, random, and express number techniques. And that will be different for city, um, which enables you to mask the data through substitute, through a dependent type of masking rule, or other um, types of specific masking rule for that, that type of field. As we go through, I'll show you some of these uh, more detail, you understand why um, these rules are specific to the types of fields. For example, card uh, masking rules are specific to the type of credit card, whether Visa, MasterCard, or as so we'll sure that the credit card number is masked according to that card type. Now we create the masking rules. We can also create rules, as you see here, and create specific filter, uh, field expressions for those custom rules. Now, the substitution rule, uh, we can show you here that you can make rules repeatable, as you can see by creating a check mark, or checking uh, the refresh attribute. Now, for city and country, um, we'll show you specifically how we can make uh, the fields connected through a dependent relationship. So you can see that a masking rule for city that will have to be a masking uh, via city in country. So you always have um, a U.S. city, for example, um, uh, country as U.S. Information, we'd like to point you to our website. And please do not hesitate to Look at our website, Web Informatica Cloud, that I'm asking for more information.